Hello guys, I'm back with another video and today we're just going about what if Deku was a warlock. So, so this time, so we're going to start off in um, the perspective of Over One's daughter. So, Over One's daughter gives birth to Deku's um, child, which is a girl. And she says, ah, oh, oh, my lovely little girl, my lovely little girl. As, um... Um, Shigaraki says, well, you know that he's, that, that's a hero, that's the, the son of a hero, right? The daughter of a hero, right? And she says, I don't care. As we cut off, then we go back to Deku, Deku riding, riding on the chair, that's the, uh, as they are greeted by the by the wild world pussycats, the wild world pussycats are talking about what uh, what they're gonna be doing at the at the summer camp. As the as they starting getting uh, so they decided to go now and and go to the summer camp. Like go straight into the forest. That goes some in this chariot. Uh, as the hero as the wild world pussycats are saying. That might be a problematic. As they start driving off with Jiro. Um I can't remember that uh that um that other Wild Wild Pussycat's name, but it's the girl with the with the earth manipulation quirk. And she says, I wonder if they're dating or something. And Deku starts atta starts attacking more of those earth monsters. And starts controlling them as well because he still has the he's still using elemental about um sorcerer ability right. So after then after getting there, um, the hero they start training. but um, Jiro. Ha now uses knives and uh, swords because what if her quirk was um like uh, disabled so she has to use like swords and weapons now. Deku and Togo start streaming together because they still are master and servant after all. As the as the other as Deku's other classmates appear, appear. Sorry about that. Okay, sorry about that. It's just my messenger. Well, okay. Deku starts um after Tria when um Bakugo comes near him and he says and she says, "Why you didn't just help us?" as Deku says, "Well, there was no um room in the chariot." As she sorry about here, sorry about that as usual. So as she um, um punches Deku in the face and Deku says, Why you little as um Bakugo um accidentally um accidentally punch her, accidentally um falls down on him and yeah. As Deku says, what do... As Deku gets up and says, Maybe next time you should be careful. Damn it. Sorry about that. It's just my cousins. So, as Deku um, starts um, training um, again, they start talking about um, some stuff. Deku... Deku is talking to Jiro and Toga as um, Sue says, so who's your family? Deku says, well, they're not biological, but they're still our family to me at least. As um, Ochako says, what do you mean? Deku says, well, my, fam my, my real family abandoned me because I was a boy. And because of that, a my um 
my adopted mother decided to take me in. As uh, he starts explaining more about this backstory, as um, Bakugo starts um, um, piecing it together until she realized Midoriya, Izuku, um, and then um, they're going to do this um, challenge as usual, like the that's where they have to scare um, class 1A from 1B. So they, they start uh, splitting up as Deku is going to be in the theme of three with um, Toga and um, Jiro. As the League of Villains attack, Deku, Deku is helping um, Jiro with the fighting as um, Deku tells um, Toga to go into a brand new form that, he, that she just learned known as Revenant Punishment. That is where she turns almost like an undead. Like it. Sorry about that, guys. Ugh. Anyways, um, she starts attacking all of the all of them as um, Dobby's decide to burn um Jiro, but Deku protects her and gets a little bit damage from it. As um, as um, uh, Shigaraki appears and says, "Ha! Huh, I can't believe that the that the that the all for one wants you." As Deku says, "Shut up, you!" As um, he summons um, the Gator and um, and uh, and the Rake. Uh, sorry about that, guys. <sighs> anyway, um, Deku starts um, um, attacking um, all of them as um, Deku gets captured by Mr. Compress, including Jiro and um, the others. As they go into the into the into the bar, I meant sorry. Deku is tied up uh, with Jiro and um the comp okay as female as all for one appears be it the daughter of all for one by the way with um Izuku's um daughter as Deku says huh who's the little child is um all for one saying do you remember the time when you that I raped you. As Jiro hears this and says, Wait, she raped you? As Deku says, Quiet. As um, Over One says, Well, I got in a bit, I got pregnant, and now this child is your daughter, your child. As um, Jiro hears this and says, You damn, as um, Deku says, Be Quiet. You don't want to get uh, you don't want to get hurt as um over one used it and says who's this as um Jill says I'm his girlfriend you dumbass as over one hears this and says you dare touch my man and they start going to a heated argument as Deku as Deku starts um getting the knife from Jill's back and starts cutting away as the heroes appears as all all might here all might uh, says oh, i am here and starts uh, attacking all of the villains deku deku gets out of there easily as um jiro and uh, toga as well him and uh, toga are fighting fighting um all for all for one damn it okay sorry about that my stupid cousin. Anyway, um, as Deku was um defeating um trying to fight off the villains um um Deku's child, which I'm gonna be calling her um Elizabeth. Yeah, she she comes up to to Deku and says, "Papa," as um she comes uh, comes to him and says. Papa, why are you fighting Mama? 
as Deku says, as Deku doesn't want to talk to her, as she puts her puts her in the ball of darkness to protect her. After, and then it's the final showdown with Deku versus All for One's daughter. As they start fighting, Deku using his um Jesus Christ. Um, his staff to, as a shield and starts summoning um, more creatures. As Deku has the great idea, Deku decides to make a ceiling, um, uh, a ceiling circle around him, around um, over one. He tells uh, he tells Toga to telepathically in to make a ceiling circle, and she says yes and creates it. When when he goes to the spot where the ceiling circle is, she she seals her um her quirk forever. Now she's quirkless technically. She says, "What did you do?" As um Deku says, "I used the ceiling circle. Now you're technically quirkless." As she says, "No." As she starts crying, he sa she says. I just wanted to be like my father told me. As she starts explaining shit, shit as usual. As Deku says, whatever, whatever. As um, all for one starts getting desperate and says, "Come on, I, I really wanted you. I promise, I loved you." As Deku says, "You literally kidnapped me," and other type and other shit as usual. As um, Jiro comes here, comes and uh, says, "Are you okay?" As Deku says, "I'm okay." As um, he releases back um, Elizabeth, and and she says, "Um, all for one, fine." As she gets um, she is um brought to the police, and now she's in Tartarus. A few years go by, and Deku is the is the second hero. Is the second hero Bakugo being the first because I decided to make Bakugo um the user for all for one for one for all. Deku is second um um and Jiro's third. Deku and uh, Jiro decided to, to bring um. Elizabeth in and also get a child that I'm gonna be calling um what's a good name for her? Um Margaret Great And I hope you like the end of this video and I've and I hope to see you all guys next time. Bye bye